TCP will not give that IP. Let me put here in this router because sometime IP DSCP exclude 192.168.10.1 dot ten dot one till one ninety two dot one not ten here what network we are using we need to say this is router five router is spying one ten so I will write one ten dot one till one ninety two one sixty eight one ten dot ten so I am saying till this range don't give the IP to anyone okay we are saying to DSCP so this range they will not give any IP I will put this in the notepad for router 5 where is the router 5 this one is the router 5 we will keep here then we need to do the same thing for other also for other means 120 so here for 120 we need to save 120 VLAN this one so I will copy and paste this also here I will save the configuration now after that I can do here I can uh, go here click here and click here and check you will get the IP 192.168.120.11 because we reserve the IP same thing we need to do here I think I forget there also let's see what IP we get here here we are getting correctly so I think I configure here that one we can check let's say show run and here if you see this is the IP here I give only I am saying don't use only one so I need to modify this here so what I will do here I will write here no and whatever the command you have I will remove this your understanding or not I need to put complete range that's why I remove this I will put that again so after that I will say 192 168 100.10 from 1 to 10 don't give the IP to anyone why I am doing this one because in future maybe we have any server so we can assign the static IP from 1 to 10 I reserve that one okay 1 to 10 I reserve and let's see in the router 6 I put that configuration or not where is the router 6 here is the router 6 so we don't have that configuration so I can copy from here I can put in the notepad and same thing we need to do but here instead of 90 we will write 100 and here also instead of 90 we will write 100 okay so this one is okay no problem now what we need to look here do we have the OSPF or not here let's see I will write here show IP protocol so if you see OSPF is configured here so if I write show IP root, I will get the OSPF root I am getting for 90 and 100 this one. This root I am getting 90 and 100. Okay, so in R2 we have, in R5 we have, now I will go R6 and we will check here also. I will write show IP protocol, so we have OSPF is configured here. If I write show IP root, we are getting only 110, we are not getting 90 here we are getting only one 110 we are not getting 120 so maybe we forget to advertise this one in this router or maybe someone apply the ACL to block drop this 120 network let's see here I will write here show run we have sub interface here so where is the sub interface here see we enable OSPF here in this interface but we forget to enable here that's why it is not working so now what I can do I can go here interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 dot 120 and here I can write IP OSP of this one okay and we can wait for some time then it will start working so now let's check in the configuration notepad in the R5 this is the R5 I forget to enable OSPF here yes here I did not put let's see here sub interface I put in the notepad but it is not present in the configuration so maybe I forget or maybe any issue there but anyhow now it should have the roots so let's go here and check the roots we are getting or not yeah now you can see we are getting two OSPF root so now 
this guy is having two VLAN 110, VLAN 120, both network is advertising in this router. Okay, so now they can ping, they can work before someone is not working, right? Let's see. I think this PC is not working before 90.11 is not working. So now I can ping and it should work. See here, I am here in this computer uh, where in VLAN 120, I am pinging to VLAN 90. So 90.11 IP we have in this machine and I think this machine is having 90.12. So both are working. If you go here and ping the 90.11 and 90.12, it will work. Both will work. So this network, the branch network is ready now. And yeah, branch network is ready. So what we can do, we can save all the configuration wherever, whatever we done here in this switch. Everywhere I will save. Already we save, I think, but anyhow, let me cross check. I will save the configuration everywhere here also. Then I will go here also. I will save the configuration. Okay. And I will save this topology. I will save the notepad and what else we need to do now we need to connect this this uh, company the router this one we need to connect to the head office so we need to connect this is a head office this is a branch office so you will use the ISP help to connect this one okay so we can connect like this ISP will be there in between but this is a lab so directly we can connect okay or you can ask the isp so maybe isp will help you so what we can do here just it is simple you can take the cable from here to here you can connect here okay so we cannot connect because in this router we don't have port so we need to increase the port here so you have only two port here in this router we have only how many ports in this router we have only 